to the prison's most dangerous inmates, where the animosity between guard and convict was mutual. In October, Radical Sheik came to the gates of the prison when a champagne party of 150 people was held to celebrate the release of Jackson's book, Soledad Brother. Though some in the prison system would dispute Jackson's credibility as author, the book was the apex of his prison transformation. It was a very personal book, a very novelistic book, and a book that portrayed George Jackson very unrealistically as a victim, a martyr of the prison system, which he was not. If there's anything that George Jackson was not, it's a martyr. Soledad Brother became a sensation, an international bestseller praised by the New York Times. Jackson was called the successor to Malcolm X. Black Panther Huey P. Newton said, George was the greatest writer of us all. George Jackson had the understanding of what comes from the ground. What is the lowest moment in humanity? The letters to my family, my mother, my father, sisters, my brother, Jonathan, they were intended to familiarize them with the situation I was faced with here. Of course, here in prison, we see the repression, the exploitation, the uh, victimization of uh, lower class people. The book offered many sides to Jackson's personality. There were epistles on slavery, the evils of capitalism, adoration for Cuban revolutionary Che Guevara. Jackson wrote often to his mother Georgia, revealing their disagreements and love. He also corresponded with his father, Lester, a man whom Jackson believed had been defeated by a racist society. How do you think I felt when I looked in your face, saw the clouds forming, and see your best efforts go for nothing? I count the times on my hands that you managed to work up a smile. The book was also a public relations triumph for Jackson's attorney, Faye Stender. Stender was tireless in making her client and prison letters famous throughout the world. And she really was involved in making George Jackson a celebrity. Jackson affectionately called the well-known 39-year-old Berkeley lawyer his small but mighty mouthpiece. Afraid for their lives if they testify or are even friendly to the defense in the Soledad Brothers case. Faye Stender also convinced a fellow radical attorney, John Thorne, to join Jackson's case, a case which Stender believed needed to be tried in the court of public opinion. She was diminutive, smallish, um, brilliant mind, uh, knew exactly what she wanted. When Stender organized the Soledad Brothers Defense Committee, engaging famous names like actress Jane Fonda to raise money and notoriety, Stender wanted to create an atmosphere of acquittal. It is incumbent upon all of us to speak out about it, to make it known to the public what is happening in this country, that there are political prisoners, political trials. But in the days and months after his brother Jonathan's death, some began to see a change in George Jackson's personality. Exactly like he didn't care about anything anymore after that. He was more introverted. Uh, he seemed like he got irritated at things more quickly and stuff, you know, like one day, I don't know, some guard did something to him in the visiting room and got him a hell of a fight 